okay, we have this exponential problem on the board. We have 3x plus e 4x equals 0. We want to try to solve this using the line of our w function. We have this uh, useful, this is going to be our key property or identity in solving this. We want to get this into, into this format here because then this expression is actually a good way to take complicated expressions and boil them down to just this x input. So we're going to want to use that. So to start with, what I'm going to do, we'll take our equation. I'm going to subtract the 3x on both sides. So we'll end up with e4x equals minus 3x. And what we're trying to do to get into this part, we want, we don't really want to be adding here. We want to be multiplying. So if I divide by an e to the 4x here, you're going to see we're going to get kind of closer to what we want. So this is going to give us, this will cancel and just be a 1. So on the left side, we're going to have 1 equals minus 3x e to the minus 4x. And again, we'll see that we're getting kind of close to what we want here. But those are not, we need to get it exactly the same, but that's okay. Because what we can do is, if I can switch colors, let's multiply both sides by 4 thirds. So we multiply 4 thirds on both sides. That's going to give us uh, 4 thirds equals minus 4x e to the minus 4x. So we now have our identical coefficient and exponent situation exactly like what we want for the Lambert W. So we can now apply that on both sides. We'll have, so we'll have, we'll apply Lambert W here and here, but let me rewrite that so it's clear. We're going to have Lambert W of four thirds equals whenever w minus four x e to the minus four x. I need to write more carefully, this is getting ugly. And then what that's gonna do is on the right side, that's just gonna spit out this minus four x. So I'm gonna simplify that here. We'll have, so we're gonna have minus four x on the left. I'm, I'm gonna kind of change switch sides just because. So we're gonna have minus four x equals Lambert w of Four thirds. What I can do now is just divide a minus four, minus four on both sides. We're going to have x equals Lambert W four thirds over, let's we'll put a negative up front, over four. And that'll be one way to write our solution. What we want to know is that going to be a real solution? Are there other real solutions? So let's look at this. The input here on the Lambert W is four thirds, which is about 1.333. And what we can do is take a look at the graph of the Lambert W function. I have that right here. So we have this, uh, this line here is actually at four thirds. So we can look at when does it intersect. And for any positive number, you see that there's only going to be one point of intersection. So this will tell us that there's going to be only one real solution from the Lambert W function. It would be only if we were in this negative area that we'd have two solutions, or if we were out here in the negative, we would have um, only complex solutions. Then we can look at the graph of this function. This is the graph of 3x plus e to the 4x. And we can see where it intersects 1. And we'll see that it intersects right at about minus 0 0.169. Now what I did was to get a more precise decimal, and we have that 0, we have uh, negative 0 0.169, but let's see what Wolfram Alpha says when we calculate this. But we don't have a really good way. We can't use our calculator to calculate the Lambert W function, but we can do it with computer programs like Wolfram Alpha or MATLAB or whatever you may use. So let's go. So we have this, we enter it, we enter our Lambert W as product log of four thirds over minus four. And we get a more precise answer, minus 0 0.169327, a lot of decimal places. This will be one real solution. Got this problem from my quiz, Lambert W challenge. It's got a lot of interesting exponential problems. Also, you can check out Lambert W functions. So two similar quizzes, I'll provide a link in the description. Hope that helps.